The Dating Show, brought to you by alderdatingonline.com. We have all been to chemistry lessons and seen what happens when a sodium pellet is added to water. It fizzes furiously and emits heat. This is a known quantifiable reaction and there is a periodic table to predict chemical reactions. The chemistry between two human beings is incredibly unpredictable. We do not have any idea how we will react to another person in a dating or social situation. There are many factors that influence the actions that may or may not produce a reaction when two people meet and there is no periodic table to help us. Physicality may be the first marker. The look of a person you might meet could pave the way to understanding whether there will be an attraction or the first little flutter of interest. A look across a crowded room, a smile. When someone smiles at you across a room, how you react depends on the person you are. Do you look away and play hard to get? Or do you embrace the obvious attraction to you? Let's get past the point of cat and mouse. Physicality will be the initial draw. Then there will be the voice, possibly an attractive accent, a pleasing demeanor. You're at the starting post. It's now down to conversation, mutual likes and dislikes. If the conversation goes well, then it's sense of humor, the way someone might laugh, someone might smile, and the ever, ever important eye contact. Is the proverbial sodium starting to fizz and emit heat? Is there a warm feeling that makes us want to continue? Is the chemistry there? We are all so different in what attracts us and makes us attractive. In Italy, for example, the Me Too concept does not exist. Where if a person is admired by another, then they're immediately made aware of it. The attraction screams across the street. The smile, or maybe the piaggio wobbles as the admirer loses their concentration in their effort to make their attraction to the other person known. A pretty Italian girlfriend of mine was working in Berlin. To her dismay, she did not get one wolf whistle, wink, cheeky smile, or any dubious pickup lens. She was deeply disappointed. She checked herself in the mirror to see what was wrong with her. And as far as she could see, she was the same gorgeous girl who left Italy, where she was admired and appreciated. And it carried on for some time until she flew back to Rome. Immediately, it all came back. The same pretty girl had arrived. Her confidence was restored. The pilot chatted her up and asked for her number. And she felt she had all the looks, winks and wolf whistles she truly deserved. So chemistry is different across nationalities. Are we Saxons or Romans? When the Romans invaded the British shores, they were way ahead of the barbarian hordes in terms of enjoyment of sexuality. The Greeks the same. Does it all boil down to climate? Are we hot-blooded Mediterraneans or cool and calculating Northern Europeans? I'll leave you with one more scenario. The scenario we often appreciate and get into, you're in a lift, in a hotel, four or five people in the lift. In this particular lift, there were two people. They were standing at opposite sides of the lift, but they were looking intently at each other. Were they secret lovers? Or had they just looked up and the initial attraction had made them look at each other further? It was enough that when a person got out of the lift on a different floor, the person turned round to both of them and said, have a good night tonight, with a very knowing look. What was it in that chemistry that was pervading the air of the lift that made that person pick up on these two people? I'll leave that one to you. The Dating Show, brought to you by alderdatingonline.com.